Well, you've probably heard the saying, it's better to give than to receive. Coming up, we're going to look at the physical and mental benefits of giving. Well, what if we told you that by helping out, donating, or just being kinder, you could cut your stress levels in half and live longer? And giving. What if that giving meant that you didn't have to spend a single dollar? Well, speaker, author, and our positivity consultant, Rich Brecken, is back with us to share some insights and suggestions on how we can be more giving and how it can actually help us in the process. Good morning, Rich. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing down there today? We are well. Good. Let's start with Excellent. why it's truly better to give than receive. We've all heard that saying, but give us the, the info behind it. Sure, we've all heard the saying and we, we rarely ask like what are the, why is that true? But let's talk about some of the benefits of giving versus receiving. There are a lot of physical and mental benefits that I'll get into here in just a second. But when we talk about giving, it really brings more of a societal connector, not only interpersonal, but also as a society as a whole. Because the more we share kindness, the more that spreads, the more contagious it becomes, and the more kinder we become as a society. Uh, it's also a great way to get out of a funk because you know we get so caught up in our own despair and our own problems and our own things. But when we put the giving in, we are looking outside of ourselves. We're putting our energy outside of ourselves and we're making it about other people. And for those parents out out there, statistics show that teenagers actually have a better self-image and better grades when they give and when they donate and when they volunteer. When we think about giving, uh, a lot of times it's, uh, you know, we're thinking about giving money, but there are some other ways to give, right? Oh, there are tons of ways to give. There's a lot of ways to give that are mostly free. Uh, you don't have to spend any money, really. It's really just about being kind, about being thoughtful, and doing the things. You know, I, one of my favorite of all time is paying for the coffee behind me in Starbucks, which I, that backfired on me one time because I was in front of the person that was running the office run, so I paid like <laughs> 35 bucks for coffee. So that's a, that's a rare example. But typically what you can do is just be thoughtful. Have, you know, offer help to somebody. Maybe somebody's working on a project or maybe somebody's just needing a, a shoulder to cry on or an ear to listen. Just engaging in the offer to help is a huge step in the right direction. There are lots of things that you can do as far as calling people up, setting up meetings. Now that things are getting a little bit better with, with social interaction, you can set those things up and get that interpersonal connection, which is going to lift your ability to serve those people. It's also going to help you tremendously because, again, you're putting your energy outside of yourself and you're engaging in kindness and thoughtfulness. I love that. I have made a point this year of trying to tell people who I appreciate that I appreciate them and why um, as things happen. And it's the response has just been like, thank you. So, you know, like I right. needed this today or whatever. So it, it, that makes me feel so good, too. It is, and it's, and it's easy to do. I can't tell you how many times I've just simply said, how can I help you? What's going on? Is there anything that you need? Because we all want to feel that way so that when we do it, when we're proactively giving those things, we're, we're increasing our dopamine levels. We're increasing our, oxy, uh, our oxytocin levels in our head. So mentally, both physically and mentally, we're becoming better people. We're getting in a better mood. We're putting ourselves on a better track for happiness by doing those things. And physically, we're lowering our blood pressure. We're, we're, we're having better heart rates. We're doing the things that make us feel better, both physically and mentally. So Kim, to your point, like just reaching out to people mm -hmm. automatically makes you, put you on a better path to better physical and mental health. So as something as simple as just reaching out to somebody is gonna do a world of good for you. Pretty simple, that's for sure. Rich, great to see you. Thank you. Always great to see y'all. You bet. You can connect with Rich on social media or check out his podcast. Just visit richbracken.com.